very short video on how to put the gimbal lock back onto the Phantom 3. I find it's easiest to start with the Phantom 3 propped on its side, and that's the side opposite the SD card in the gimbal. That way you have a better time of viewing how the lock goes on. The two important things to, in order to get the orientation correctly in the gimbal lock is that this section of the gimbal lock goes underneath the camera itself, and then this area of the gimbal lock goes towards the front of the drone. Uh, and that's how you get the orientation. But usually if you just lock this, or if you just remember this part goes underneath the front of the camera, then you'll everything else will kind of fall into the line. So that's how you get the, how you start the gimbal lock back on. And the other important part then from this point is that this little area of the gimbal lock, there's actually an insert uh, into the, on the uh, bottom of the gimbal that it goes into. That's probably the main reason why people have a hard time getting the lock back onto the camera. So that area slides in and I'm doing this with one hand and filming with the other. Once I get it just a little bit in there, I reach around and I grab the other side of the gimbal and camera and I just kind of lightly push the gimbal lock in there. And I find that that's needed, otherwise this gimbal lock uh, can come out during transport of the Phantom. So just give it a little bit of push to seat it in there and uh, that way it'll be locked on there.